wavelength division multiplexing wavelength is a property of a signal wave any wave any sine cosine type of wave it will have a wavelength that is wavelength is a distance between the two crest or two trough okay now a white light if you see and if you pass it through a prism it will give you all the different colors different wavelengths different uh, wavelength okay so this wdm wavelength division multiplexing is a form of fdm only frequency division multiplexing it is an analog multiplexing technique where we combine the optical signals so multiple beams of light at different frequency we are talking about optical fiber so this is a form of fdm only each color of light that is what we are calling as wavelength carry separate data channel that is they will come be combined by the combiner and they will be split by a splitter commercial system have right now 160 channels each channel giving up to 10 gbps so here you see four fiber come together at a optical combiner and each are combined lambda 1 to lambda 4 they are added and each with its energy present at a different wavelength the four beams are combined on a single shared fiber for the transmission this is a long haul shared fiber what about the receiver end beam is split up over as many fibers many fibers so there are different fibers where different wavelengths has has been sent so each output fiber specially constructed core is there that will fil filter out uh, the only one wavelength all but one wavelength so this is uh, similar to frequency division wdm is referring to fiber optic channels by their wavelength or you can call it as a color rather than frequency so optical system they use diffraction grating and as i said they are quite a uh, Uh, reliable because they are completely passive when we were discussing fiber optics i told you these are the bands we are taking since the bandwidth of a single fiber band is 25000 gigahertz this is theoretically there is already theoretically room for 2500 10 gbps channel even at 1 bit per hertz so wavelength division multiplexing wdm this technology is advancing more than computer technology because wdm was invented around 1990 first commercial system it had eight channels even every channel giving 2.5 gbps speed 1998 there were systems with 40 channels each channels providing 2.5 gbps 2006 product with 192 channels of 10 gbps and 64 channel of 40 gbps and they are giving speed up to 2.56 terabit per second coming to 2019 160 channels 16 terabit per second over a single fiber pair and this is 800 times the systems that were there in 1990 so what we are trying to suggest here is narrowing the spacing to 12.5 gigahertz make it possible to support even 1 320 channels on a single fiber the system with this large number of channels a little spacing between each channel are dwdm or dense WDM or dense wave division multiplexing. I hope you got the idea of dense WDM. In WDM, uh, we have to have a conversion because some amplific amplification has to be done. So we need some uh, electro optical amplifiers, you can say. But now today, all are optical. That is, all optical amplifiers. they can regenerate the entire signal or once every 1000 km without the need for multiple amplification previously they, that were there and what were there because there were opto electrical conversions need to be done but now it is not required we have all optical amplifiers so we have fixed wavelength system for example in this figure if you say bit from input fiber 1 there it is going to output fiber 3 and the bits from input fiber 2 go to output fiber 1 fiber different spectrums are there when they are combined these are the spectrum on the shared shared fiber 
now there has to have some you know wavelength x the wavelength tuning has to be done so in order to bind the wdm wavelength division multiplexing they, that are switched in the optical domain output filters are tunable using the fabry parrot and mat zender interferometer these devices they allow selected frequencies to be changed dynamically just by a control computer so many different wavelengths pass through the telephone network from a fixed set of fibers thanks to wdm wavelength division multiplexing 